This Math SAT Level 2 Test 3 video is from MathOnDVD.com and MathTutor.biz and it's one of the 150 tutorial videos in this three test set. The set also includes three DVDs, one DVD on each test and each DVD lasts almost two hours. Also included are the three tests and there are 50 questions in each test. And it's hoped that the student will work through these questions before they watch the DVDs. All other details can be found at mathondvd.com or mathtutor.biz. Math SATs Level 2 Question 6. We're told that this graph is perpendicular to this graph, in other words, at right angles. So let's just look at this graph for a moment and make y the subject. Let's subtract x and 5 from both sides. Now let's divide both sides by 4. So I can either write that as x over 4 or a quarter of x. The reason I've done that is once I've got it in that form, which we write as the general equation of a straight line like that, then we know the gradient, that's the letter M, or you call it the slope. The slope, or gradient, of that graph is in fact minus a quarter. So therefore, if this other graph is going to be at right angles, perpendicular, then the slope of the second graph has got to be plus 4. Because when you multiply these two together you get minus 1. And if you multiply two gradients or slopes together and get minus 1 they must be perpendicular. Let's now rearrange this graph so it says y equals. What does it ask you to do that? Yes it does. It does ask you to sort of do that. Let's I think I'll do that just to play safe. Let's uh, Subtract the px from both. Uh, subtract px from both sides. So I'll get minus px. Add three to both sides. Now, if I'm going to use this same thing, I need that to say y equals. So I need to divide by two. So I'll get minus p over two, or half of p if you like, plus three over two. So this graph has a gradient of that. In other words, this minus p over 2 has to equal that 4. So if I multiply both sides by 2 and then change the sign I'll get minus 8. So for all of that to happen the value of p has to be minus 8. So the answer to question 6 is b. For full details on all the available math DVDs please visit mathondvd.com